Last time we checked in, we were down in Ecuador, which is miles away from home. Uh, and now I'm back in my own backyard, the Olympic Peninsula, uh, and we're helping out with the Elwha Restoration Project, volunteering with the National Park Service up here, and supporting our parks for the centennial. Out here on the Olympic Peninsula, one of the major rivers is the Elwha River. Uh, and there used to be two dams that blocked up the river at different points. And there was a project to remove all of the dams. Uh, and what that did was it got rid of the reservoirs, um, leaving a lot of the land totally marred. So now the park is working to restore that land and bring back vegetation uh, and make it into the fertile ecosystem that it once was. You know, a lot of the roads are pretty rugged up here. So Chevy heard that we were coming out to the Olympic Peninsula and you know, they said, hey, why don't you take a, a, a new Chevy Colorado and test that out as well. Our first day, we went out to the greenhouse and garden area and volunteered with some regular volunteers who have been doing this for years. So we were trimming plants, potting plants, digging up plants that they had been reseeding, uh, and then putting them in bags and getting ready to take them you know, out into the Elwha and plant them the following day. I grew up gardening and farming and getting my hands dirty with my, with my granny. And, and so to be out and have your gardening gloves on, have some shears and be meeting all the people who are also very passionate about this uh, was really fun. So the second day we actually took all the plants that we prepped to the Elwha River uh, to be planted. The old reservoir site of the Elwha is pretty incredible. It's, a, it's a, quite a vast landscape. This reservoir was emptied over about three years, from 2011 to 2014, and it's uh, one of the biggest dam removal projects in the world. Today, Zach and Lauren are going to help us put some plants in the ground. We have these terraces out here, and there's not a whole lot of native vegetation showing up on its own. So by putting plants in the ground, we're speeding that process up. Dams, uh, when they're put into a river, they're going to affect the whole watershed. Uh, the biggest impact is the fact that salmon can no longer get upstream. So dam removal was really a drive to try to restore the whole ecosystem, which is often driven by salmon, in this very unique part of the world. It was nice to settle in a little bit and feel like we're you know, helping the landscape you know, for generations to come. I hope to come back in 10 years and that landscape is going to look totally different. Uh, and it's going to be you know, really incredible to know that you know, these hands played a part in that. You know, while we were out here helping out with the restoration project, we also got to experience all of the wonders of the Olympic National Park. You know, this is a place that I've been coming, you know, since I was a kid growing up just across the Sound in Seattle. So it's really exciting to go to some places, you know, that I've spent a lot of time. You know, just a spectacular place to spend a week. So the Chevy Colorado was awesome. You know, we could throw all of our gear into it. You know, we took it out on the sand on the beach and played around with it. it has Wi-Fi built into it, which is great for us while we're out here in the park. It was also just a comfortable ride. This is the type of park that you can learn so much from. And that's the thing about nature is sometimes you just have to sit back and enjoy the fact that you'll never learn it all. Under my Outdry Extreme jackets, I was wearing some really unique clothing this week. To celebrate the centennial of the national parks, Columbia is making gear that has patches and logos for the top 10 most visited national parks. Part of the proceeds go to the National Parks Foundation, you know, and help keep these parks beautiful and pristine. Some of the most striking, memorable experiences that I've had have been in national parks. We owe it to ourselves to be immersed in something so beautiful and wild and as it should be. I think we can get so caught up in our everyday lives and really it all boils down to something that's much simpler and getting out to a national park is a great reminder of that.